had a big week at work and think you might be ready for a change of scenery, then listen up because our next guest has a job on offer. It's dangerous, it's deadly, and Georgie, it involves working with snakes. <laughs> That's right, Sunshine Coast Snake Catchers are looking for a full-time snake catcher to join their team and Richie Gilbert, uh, or Richie Gilbert as he's known in France for the, com the company, joins us now. Richie, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you this morning. What does it take to be a professional snake catcher? Oh, I guess you've, you've got to be confident about what you do, don't you? You're dealing with um, snakes that that are potentially deadly. So yeah, I mean, you need confidence, but you need a certain skill set. Um, it's not for everybody. If you were doing IT last week and then you did a snake course over the weekend, you wouldn't be working for me. Oh. All right, I imagine you need to, to be very calm. Yeah. How much training is involved for, for a job like this? Because it, it has the risk of being pretty dangerous. Oh, of course, you know, I'm, I don't generally employ guys that haven't done, or girls in that, for that matter that haven't done snake catching before so generally we're looking for somebody who's been passionate about wildlife and snakes in particular pretty much their whole life so they grow up they've got a love for them they've probably played with a few when they shouldn't have um, they might have done some work in some some reptile parks and handled some venomous snakes that sort of thing that's sort of what i'm looking for um, if you've just done a venomous handling course which you can do in two days uh, it's not necessarily going to um, prepare you for an eastern brown snake, for mm. instance, that's wanting to have a bit of a bite at you when you're trying to get it in a bag. Okay, so just to, just elaborate on what the job entails, if you could. Yeah, so on a daily basis, we're getting plenty of phone calls. So first of all, the person needs to be, have good communication skills. Snake people aren't always the best communicators. There can be some pretty weird snake people out there. So we're looking for somebody who can communicate, obviously answer the calls, go out on site, assess the situation safely catch a snake. Now sometimes that means picking a snake up by the tail. Sometimes if you're lucky and it's out in the open you can scoop it up with your hook oh. and put it in a bag. But generally you're working with ease pretty much all the time. It's just um, pretty oh. much hands on. And, uh, and yeah we do have a lot of venomous snakes in Australia and it can be very dangerous. So like I said confidence is key but also you don't want someone who's a bit of a oh. cowboy. You've got to be careful. Mm. I don't want bites. I don't want to be dealing with bites you know every couple nah. of weeks. So yeah. You know, uh, back in the day when, when I was in Cairns growing up, we found a snake in the loo mm -hmm. uh, and, and my Uncle Pete had to get rid of it. He was very gifted at that kind of thing. I'm not going to say what happened to it. Uh, <laughs> but what's the strangest place you've found a snake? I've done the same. I've, I've found snakes um, in toilets. I've, uh, I've relocated rubber snakes off people's roofs, rubber snakes from people's yards. Um, there was a particular time I was called out for a snake in a toilet. Yeah. Um, they, they said, you know, I asked a few questions over the phone, they shut the lid, they put a chair on top of it, and when I got there and lifted the lid, it wasn't a snake at all, they just needed to flush, it was a number two. Aww. So, you do, get, you do get called out to some weird stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> An Eastern Brown. Um, Richie, qu just <laughs> yeah, quickly... Yeah. Just You're always the one. <laughs> just quickly, does, does it pay well? And, and for those who are interested, how do they apply? Yeah, look, um, it does, I guess. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the season, depending on how many calls are coming in. Uh, but uh, yeah, each each um, each uh, snake basically is a is a um, is a payment for the snake catcher. Mm. So they're not just sitting around getting paid to twiddle their thumbs. They're only getting paid when they're catching snakes, and there's plenty to catch. Uh, but in terms of applying, um, you can jump on our Facebook page, which is Sunshine Coast Snake Catchers 24/7. Um, and you can have a look on there. There's an email address there. You can email through your resume and, uh, and then hopefully you get a call from me. Good stuff, mate. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck trying to find a snake wrangler. Mm. <laughs> That's the no last worries, thing I would do. No, oh, actually, I, I won't be applying for that one. Maybe a tarantula um, handler would be the one that I wouldn't do. No, you, yes, your phobia is spiders. I don't like spiders. Mm. I, I hate spiders and mm -hmm. snakes right up there. We just, we just don't handle that sort of stuff well, us Queensland mm. blokes. I mean, we're tough. Yes, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Over to you, Lara. Yeah, I don't like bats, so I'm definitely not going to be applying for that snake job.